This bill seeks to ensure pay equity for women across the state of Tennessee. Isn't this covered in federal law already? This law would go a step further. Bill failed. It provides Tennessee parents and guardians with up to four hours of leave per year. Research shows that children with involved parents generally earn higher grades. This legislation ensures that parents can participate actively in their child's education without sacrificing job security. This is a great bill. I uh, know several families who would benefit from this. Putting out guidelines, I think, is a good start. Putting requirements on employers is a different animal. It seems like we're going backwards with this. It's like we're going back and trying to segment what amount of time an employer has to, uh, has to set aside for each category of what an employee might use. A lot of these are single parents, and they don't have the type of jobs that allow them those kinds of things. Bill fails. Currently, there's no federal or Tennessee law that guarantees paid leave when workers need time off to care for themselves, a new baby, or a loved one. Employees pay a small amount each week about the cost of a cup of coffee and contribute to the fund. Because employers are not responsible for paying the employees who take leave under the program, they're free to use that money to cover temporary replacement costs. How's that going to impact the state of Tennessee and how we try to promote business in the state. It's absolutely business friendly because the businesses get to offer this benefit at no cost to the business. Totally employee paid. This is bold move. Uh, it's bold, sure. We need bold ideas. Bill Phelps. Good, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good try, though. business friendly state but we also need to be a family friendly state we pass this big anti-abortion thing but we don't get we give little to the to the women who have to deal with uh, pregnancy and childbirth and uh, and then child care right afterwards